the media would tell me if there was something wrong. The government, <laughs> oh, really? would, oh, oh, the government would never do something like that. <laughs> of course, of course <laughs> so, not. So they teach you. This is why we live in opposite land. Is because we've been taught the direct opposite to the truth from frickin' back. And it's unbelievable. Well, I cannot well, hear right. <laughs> well, what, talk, what you're talking about there, Vinny, is uh, that is a, a, a type of WMD. That's a weapon of mass domestication. Yeah. There, yeah. Is, there is one thing that uh, our, our uh, esteemed puppet of the uh, United States uh, did tell us true in uh, late 2008. He did say he was going to... Um, what were his words? He was going to systematically change uh, the way America was going to be uh, become, or I don't think it was systematically. What there was another word. He was to, going. I think he said something along the lines of he was going to fundamentally change. Fundamentally change. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. he puts he gonna, the mentally into fundamentally, yeah. doesn't he? <laughs> exactly. Right. Exactly. You know. Yeah, he. Yeah, and he, he has fun while doing that. it. Hence, hence. <laughs> <laughs> he's having a lot of fun yeah yeah and in new zealand nowadays okay like you take the united states you take what you know about the united states about its public education system its draconian legislation its ridiculous taxes and, it, and its bs and its violent police officers and everything like that you don't know nothing about new zealand right then you take that template that exact same freaking new world order template you apply it to new zealand it fits like a glove all right. That's right. This is the sure. reason why I know um, from the evidence that we're operating under a global system is because all the laws in New Zealand are mimicking those within the United States. All the laws in the United States are being mimicked by those in the UK, are being mimicked by those in Australia, are being mimicked by those in Canada. The entire English-speaking world has the exact same legislative um, drip feed, essentially. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, and they're all being—they're all being run by the same. All these countries that you speak of, they're all being run by the same banking cartel. They all have private central banks. In, in New Zealand, you go down to the uh, Reserve Bank of New Zealand building. It's right next to Parliament building, mind you. And what is on the wall right behind the front desk? Take a guess. Cameras, maybe. A giant <laughs> red shield. Oh, there you oh, go. Okay. okay, red shield. Red, Rothschild, red yeah. shield in uh, in German means Rothschild. Rothschild, yes, yeah, yeah. right. Hey, Vinny, why do you why do you think they um, why do you think they took all of the Westernized world's weapons uh, like Australia, New Zealand, England, Scotland, uh, UK, Ireland? Why do you think they took all of their weapons first and? Well, let's look at a historical context. Uh, come after America's first. Let's look at a historical context. Can you name me a country in the entire world that has had its weapons confiscated off its people and only been armed government and police that hasn't wound up in a tyrannical extermination campaign? Uh, well... They don't freaking exist. Because right, yeah. whenever you take the people's weapons... They have no defense against a tyrannical government. And that's the reason why that's a tyrannical right. government tells you to hand in your guns. And they've got all that's these right. different methodologies for doing so. I mean, you, you take uh, Armenia, for, for example. You ever heard of the, uh, the Armenians? Probably not, oh, sure. because they all got exterminated. Uh, and, and, you know, they are hand, <laughs> hand in your guns, hand in your guns, hand in your guns. Women, hand in your men's guns and tell us where your men are so that we can keep them safe. And then they, they hand in their guns and then they shoot the women, get the, inform get the information off of them first where their men are, and then go off and exterminate the men who are now unarmed, okay? They use That's deception right. to kill you. Okay, here's the mentality. That's right. And this is why people don't understand it, is because they don't share this mentality. I am a ruthless, psychopathic, control freak killer. I hate freedom. I hate liberty. I hate independent thought. I hate creativity. I hate independence. I want everybody to be under my thumb, my jackboot, my freaking laws. And I will not follow my own freaking laws because I will be the master and commander of everything. That's, That's right. the mentality. Yeah, they, 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 hover, they hover outside the very system that they've created for us. The laws and the, the rules are only for the slaves. They create this slave camp for everyone else and then they kind of just orbit 
around that. They, they exist outside of that where none of the rules, none of the laws apply to them. They can do whatever they want. You know, they can go over and bomb uh, women and children with their drones halfway across the world, and then the president of the United States stands on the graves of the Sandy Hook children saying, oh, we need to take your guns because we have to keep the children safe, and oh my God, the poor children. Meanwhile, uh, they're picking up pieces of children halfway across the world that he just ordered bombed. Mm. And of course, he doesn't mention in his address to the nation saying that, oh, we need to take people's guns to keep the children safe, that there were a number of other attempted school shootings in the United States that year where the gunman got shot before he could even squeeze off a round because the teachers were armed. There you go. Exactly. Well, it's the same thing I was saying, Vinny. I mean, you have we have all these shootings, right? We have theater shootings, school shootings, uh, you name it. And these people, the people lay there like sheep to the slaughter. The only thing they can do is pick up their cell phone and say, hey, uh, come help me. Come help me. Uh, you know, there's someone shooting. And meanwhile, uh, they're all being slaughtered. If at least one person had had their own gun to say, you know what, I'm taking this guy out, they could have either saved everyone's lives or at least kept so many from being killed and but you know what it's better to just lay there and be slaughtered if you have a let's say you have two different malls right two different shopping centers and you're going to send a guy in to to rob to go burglarize one mall and you tell him okay in mall a no one has a gun okay none of the shoppers there's no security people with guns there's not one gun in that whole entire facility now in mall b there may be one or two people that have their own guns but they're concealed you're not going to know where it at where they're at or who it is which place do you think psychopaths and sociopaths are going to go to yeah criminals do prefer disarmed citizenry and people don't understand that although there, there are there is uh, over 11,000 deaths caused by guns in the United States every year that guns in the United States are used to prevent up to 200,000 violent crimes okay right oh, that's oh, the that's freaking evil. statistics of it that. you know I mean we can't a... talk about that Vinny that's evil man yeah John Lott more <laughs> guns less crime this guy this guy has done some incredible analysis of gun of uh, gun control legislation you name me can you name me a place in the United States or even in anywhere in the entire world where guns have been banned where the murder rate went down they don't freaking exist, right. okay? No, it doesn't right. happen at all. All right. But, so um, what are you? What are you going to do? What are you going to? do? You know, you got your cell phone. You're going to stab somebody with a knife phone, you know? <laughs> and, you know what and, I'm going to do, Vinny? I'm going to blind them with the flash on my cell phone camera. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, it's like a flash bang cell phone. And um, <laughs> yeah. here's the here's the interest, most interesting um, point that I think uh, was uh, brought out by John Lott is uh, the experiment in Israel. In Israel, uh, previous to uh, suicide bombers and so on and so forth, Palestinian terrorists use AK-47s to uh, massacre civilians and so on and so forth. Now, um, right. Israel... What's happening now is like what happened in Nazi Germany. They actually remove your posts. And I was just like, whoa, hold on a second there. Why would socialists who are allegedly against Nazism, which is socialism, by the way, uh, pull down references to Adolf Hitler and comparative um, uh, legislation to what we're passing now? So the uh, Homeland Security Act in the United States, there was a similar piece of legislation passed in Nazi Germany, you know, to protect the, the, the Homeland, you know. And, well, that's uh, right. And, and you can't make that reference, of course, because, oh, everybody's saying everything's Nazi these days. Everything. Look, here's the unfortunate truth of it. Everything is Nazi these days. It never changed. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. They, exactly. they didn't but lose World War II. They didn't lose World War II. They just changed venues. It's like, you know, you know, comrade, I don't think that uh, people like this communism anymore. I know. People don't like fascism either. You know, what, what, what we could do is instead of calling ourselves uh, fascist or communist, why don't we call ourselves free and independent? Oh, yes. Why don't we call ourselves liberal and conservative? Oh, yeah, now you're getting it. <laughs> yes. Very good. Very good, yes. Here's the huh, situation. Okay. Uh... Espanol, English, Deutsch. 
Normalmente produzco solo videos en inglés y español. Normally I produce only videos in English and Spanish. Normalerweise produziere ich nur videos in English and Spanish. Pero hoy voy a hacer otra excepción y traducirlo también en alemán. But today I make another exception and translate it into German too. Aber heute werde ich nochmal eine Ausnahme machen und es auch in Deutsch übersetzen. Ja, algunas semanas tengo escrito en mi lista de tareas por hacer de traducir el video hashtag BTC4. Now, already some weeks ago, I have written on my to-do list to translate the video BTC4, hashtag BTC4. Schon seit ein paar Wochen habe ich äh, auf meiner To-Do-Liste geschrieben, ähm, den Video BTC4 in Deutsch zu übersetzen. Estoy segura que esta idea puede ayudar a mucha gente económicamente. I'm sure that this can help many people economically. Ich bin sicher, dass diese Idee vielen Leuten uh, finanziell helfen kann. Y da motivación para aprender Bitcoin. And give motivation to learn about Bitcoin. Und Motivation geben, um über Bitcoin zu lernen. En este momento el precio de Bitcoin es muy bajo, económico. At the moment the price of Bitcoin is very low, economic. Im Moment ist der Preis von Bitcoin sehr tief. Sería el momento ideal para invertir. Hoy es el 15 de abril 2015. Would be the ideal moment to invest. Today is April 15th, 2015. Es wäre der ideale Moment zu investieren. Heute ist der 15. April 2015. El 27 de marzo 2015 he publicado en mi canal de YouTube Vanos Enigma el primer video sobre hashtag BTC4 explicando cómo me vino esta idea. On March 27th of 2015, um, I published my fir the first video about hashtag BTC4 in my channel YouTube Vanos Enigma, e explaining how I got the idea. Am 27. März 2015 habe ich in meinem YouTube-Channel Vanos Enigma den ersten, den ersten Video über Hashtag BTC4 veröffentlicht und äh, erzählt, erklärt, wie ich diese Idee bekommen habe. La idea consiste principalmente en lo siguiente. The idea mainly consists in the following. Die idea besteht hauptsächlich en folgenden, folgenden. Imprimir en direcciones de Bitcoin en papel. Diez o mínimo diez o mejor cien. To print Bitcoin directions in paper, at least 10 or better 100. 
Bitcoin-Adressen in Papier ausdrucken, ähm, wenn ich mal 10 oder besser gleich 100, y luego poner en cada dirección de Bitcoin una pequeña cantidad de Bitcoin. And then put in every Bitcoin direction a little amount of Bitcoin. Und dann in jede Bitcoin-Adresse eine kleine Summe von Bitcoin transferieren. Y la próxima vez, cuando otra vez ves una persona por la calle pidiendo dinero, And the next time uh, you see again a person begging for money on the street. Und das nächste Mal, wenn du wieder eine Person auf der Straße betteln siehst. Y para tus amigos y amigas. And for your friends, of course. Und für deine Freunde natürlich. O tal vez eh, de propina en un restaurante. O maybe a tip in a restaurant. Oder trinkgeld im restaurant. Bueno, a la hora de imprimir también copiar y guardar las llaves privadas de Bitcoin. De direcciones de Bitcoin. Or when you print the Bitcoin addresses, um, copy and save the private keys of the Bitcoin addresses, of course. Wenn man die Bitcoin Adressen druckt, auch die, uh, auch die privaten Schlüssel, Bitcoin Address Schlüsseln, um, kopieren und speichern. Y a la hora de distribuir las direcciones de Bitcoin, escribir la fecha, por ejemplo, hoy es el 15 de abril 2015, escribir la fecha, más plus cuatro años, eh, igual 15 de abril 2019. And then in the moment when you distribute uh, the Bitcoin addresses, you write the date, for example, today, April 15th, 2015, plus, plus four years uh, is April 15th, 2019. Und dann in dem Moment, wenn man die Bitcoin-Adressen verteilt, auf das Papier schreiben, das heutige Datum, zum Beispiel 15. April 2015, plus vier Jahre ist gleich 15.04.2019. Luego vas a explicar a la gente, mira, esta es la llave privada. Tú y yo la tengo, la tienes. Si no quitas, transfieres este dinero de Bitcoin eh, en estos cuatro años, yo lo vuelvo a tener, tener o sacar. Then you explain to the people, look, this is the private key. I have it and you have it. If you don't take this money, Bitcoin, out of this account, I will take it out in this um, in these four years, at the end of these four years. Und dann erklärst du den Leuten, schau, das ist der private Schlüssel. Um, ich und du haben diesen privaten Schlüssel, Bitcoin Schlüssel. Wenn du bis Ende dieser vier Jahre das Geld Bitcoin nicht raus tust, transfer, äh, dann hole ich es zurück. De esta forma das más motivación a la gente para empezar a aprender cómo funciona Bitcoin. This way you give more motivation to the people to learn how the technology of Bitcoin functions. 
auf diese Weise gibst du mehr Motivation den Leuten zu lernen, wie die Technologie von Bitcoin funktioniert. En mi video antiguo he explicado eh, cómo he tomado la decisión de los cuatro años. In my old video I explained how I made the decision for the four years. In meinem original video habe ich erklärt, wie ich zu die Entscheidung getroffen habe äh, mit den vier Jahren. A continuación voy a pegar este video. Now later I will paste this video. Im Anschluss werde ich diesen Video ankleben. En este momento el precio de Bitcoin es muy económico. Uh, at the moment the price of Bitcoin is very cheap. Pero casi todo el mundo tiene muy poco dinero para invertir. But almost everybody has a very little money to invest. Debería decir que esta idea me vino hoy especialmente cuando vi otra vez una chica ahí pidiendo dinero por la calle. Actually, I must say first this idea today I got especially when I saw again um, one girl begging for money in the streets. Me gustaría ayudar, pero yo tampoco me sobra mucho el dinero. I would really like to help everybody, but I, I don't have either too much money. And así que me vino la siguiente idea. So I got the following idea. It's, uh, it's más bien un juego. Uh, it's a rather a game. Um, lo que es muy importante elegir un monedero de Bitcoin que solo tú mismo, mismo tienes la llave privada. What is very important to choose um, Bitcoin wallet a company which you only possess the private key. For example, uh, blockchain.info. Por ejemplo, la empresa blockchain.info. Luego, imprimir en papel um, la llave privada y también guardarlo tú mismo. Then to print in paper the private key and uh, of course save for, for yourself that private key. Bueno, ya estamos imprimiendo, imprime por lo menos 10. So now we are already printing, so at least print 10 directions, 10 direcciones. Luego pones algo de Bitcoin, una cantidad, lo que, lo que te da la gana en esta dirección. Then you put some Bitcoin, uh, the amount, whatever you want, in, that, in these directions. Y la próxima vez que sales de casa ya tienes algo que dar a los que están ahí pidiendo por la calle. And the next time you go out of the house, you have already something to give for these people who are begging on the streets. Y por ejemplo, y claro, para tus amigos, amigas, and for your friends, of course. Eso da motivación a 
la gente para aprender Bitcoin y this gives motivation for the people to learn about Bitcoin. Y la parte del juego consiste en lo siguiente. And the game part uh, consists in the following. Explicas a la gente, mira, esta es la cl clave privada, que es la clave secreta. You explain to the people, look, this is the private key, which must be secret. And uh, you have it and uh, me. And uh, explicas, esa persona y yo mismo la tiene. Y antes pensaba en cinco años, pero luego cambié un poco de idea de hasta cuatro años. First I thought of five years, but then I changed uh, my opinion to four years. Later explain. Después lo expli explico por qué. Les dices, mira, tienes cuatro años para poner esta cantidad de Bitcoin a otra dirección. Si no lo, lo has quitado después de cuatro años, yo lo quito. So you explain them, you have four years to take this Bitcoin out of this direction, of this secret uh, key direction. If uh, you don't do it, uh, I do it after these four years. So you lose this. That's the, this part of the game. It's uh, la parte del juego. He creado este hashtag uh, BTC4 para hacerlo un poco popular. I created this hashtag BTC4 to make it a little popular. Antes pensaba en cinco años, pero luego cambié a cuatro porque te has dado cuenta que en los Simpsons la gente tiene cuatro dedos. Y Solo do, Dios tiene cinco dedos. Um, first, I thought of five years, but then I changed my mind to four years. Um, did you notice that in The Simpsons, people have four fingers and only God has five fingers. Uh, I'll show some pictures. Voy a enseñar algunas imágenes de los Simpsons. De los manos y dedos de Simpsons. Some pictures of the hands and fingers of Simpsons. Uh, pero antes quiero recordar que um, es muy probable que en también cuatro o cinco en los próximos años el valor de Bitcoin puede subir mucho. Just want to remember before that uh, the price of Bitcoin, the value of Bitcoin can rise very much in these next years. Así que si solo pones una cantidad pequeña más tarde, Puede ser de gran ayuda. Even if you just put a little small amount later, it can be big help. Uh, no solo para... Bueno, es un juego. <laughs> si la persona lo quita antes de cuatro años, para, es para esta persona. Si no, es para ti. Si te recuerdas y guardas bien la llave privada. So uh, it's, this is the game part, if uh, the, the person takes the money out, it's for that person, but if they forget it after these four years, you can take it out, and it can be really... <laughs> bueno, imprimir también la llave pública y la llave privada, y si por ejemplo... 
Okay, first translate. A print and not just the private key, but on also the public key. Así que si por ejemplo explicas a la gente. Mira, si alguna persona quiere enviarte Bitcoin, pero tú no tienes ninguna dirección, así que puedes dar este, esta llave pública a la persona. Mira, muy bien, la llave pública, no la llave secreta, das a esa persona o cualquier persona y te pueden enviar Bitcoin a esa dirección. So, remember uh, the public key you can give to anybody and if somebody wants to send you some bitcoin and you and this person doesn't have any so you have already this public address where they can send you bitcoin